Nestled high up in the mountains of the Himalayas lies the capital valley of Nepal called Kathmandu. For many centuries, spirituality has been the way of life for our people. Every day, early in the morning, before dawn breaks in, Tibetans and Buddhists from all Himalayan region flock to the Swambunath Stupa. Towards the eastern region of Nepal, at the southeast of Mount Everest, lies the remote village of Halashi, which is known for its Maratika caves worshipped by Hindus and Buddhists. In this Maratika cave, it is believed that many centuries ago, Padmasambhava 
also known as Guru Rinpoche, once came here with his consort Mandarava and attained the wisdom for longevity through the practice of Amitayus. After the prayers and rituals are done, Tibetans go to the highest point in the region to hoist their prayer flags. The prayer flags are hoisted with five colors. The blue symbolizes the sky, the white the air, red symbolizes fire, green for water, and yellow for the earth. According to our tradition, as the inscribed prayer flags flutters to the wind, health and harmony spreads throughout the environment. Satwa was one of Buddha Shakyamuni's former incarnation. He was the youngest of three sons of King Maharata. One day on the trip through the forest, they saw a weak tigress with five cubs. She was so weak and hungry that the tigress couldn't hunt, and therefore the cubs wouldn't survive for long. Three princes went away, but Mahasatwa, the youngest prince, decided to go back. Later, the two brothers went back to look for him and only found his remains. Nama Buddha, also known in Tibetan as Thakmo Lijin, which means Prince Mahasatwa, out of sheer kindness and compassion, sacrificed himself to the tigress so she could feed her cubs.
As a Buddhist practitioner, Bodhgaya is the center of our universe. People come from all over the world with different ethnicity, languages and take refuge to the Buddha, Dharma and Sangha. I soak him ambulating around the Mount Bodhi temple and Bodhi tree. We accept that our action and thoughts are always centered on Buddha and his teachings. This original structure of the Mount Bodhi temple was completed in 7th century during the reigns of the Gupta king. Throughout centuries, Mount Bodhi temple has been restored and maintained to its architectural marvel. As everyone settles in for the night, around 10 p.m., 
Ken Bongawong said, with donation from his Hmong friends, decides to make blanket offerings to the poor and homeless. Ken Bongawong said is a senior monk at Deer Park Institute at Bir Monastery in Himachal Pradesh under the guidance of his teacher, Zongsa Kenzirun Boche. Sangbo, the good, the little legacy, the Lana Yin, the Sanji, 
那些茶草啊，那那些水也不茶叶水。那第二个，那时候一旦忙不起来，就当叔叔忙命那些，他妈那些忙不吧，那年纪大了，那那是你爸忙不有啊？现在那那个忙不，我今天是谈谈没事，
corona was jab chum ro che de de ko samsan ro chan ro da gig ne sun ro si la ta gam sing de ta de sam chata zam le kasa kala gam sing de pe mam che ta gi ro la yoga la sab de sun la gam jab sing ro da de mam ro ta gi re ne de de sun ta gam ko te ne ne sun ta na sun no bi ge so ma ro ni re ta ti pa che sun ka ta na gam de ne ne ta ke che chi ro che ne cha ge sare कहीं से ना तो गाम मजा वाई ना ना चाहिए कि जो नौबे के लोग सांझे कम पहुंचा रहे ना रा टाइम वाला वाई ना रा कहीं ना तो तीस साल में थोड़ी बेवार हो जाएगा रे तीन तरह तीन रामनगर आता करों तीन है लोग यहाँ रहो ची ले चाहिए सरे तीन तरह ता नारों के नाम जो है ता अपना देहतांग बोबा ता तमीर लोग तंदर लेकर चीज जो है ना अने सामना मोबाइल शुरू ची खासा खासा ताऊ है जरे खासा का जी देवे सामना ताऊ सांझी का जी देवे सामना ताऊ अने ची दे अने संबंधे ये नुपाल लोग ते छात्रों वाले अने सारे चीज लोग पाजी ताऊ तो मेरे ने ऐसा लोग जितने का नारांग तेरे छावे दूने मि� अरे ती किच्छ इच्छ ना तेरे नागिन ठंडे लाया ना रा नुबाई ना रा मिसे तेरे दुगे सारे जैसे अंदी इन दोनों तो सेम्बती अरे यूज थोल लाया ना रा मीपाल लाया ना तेरा सीजी तो ते सिंगी तो का आंग माता हिंदा ना पास मान रहा वो तो दिच्छ ताऊ ये ता काम सिंगी रहो चित्ते सारे ला ती तीन तो पहला मा� चिता चिता सेंबर के रंगशी रंग मोड़े जंसो को रंग बालम मेवा नागिन रोज चित नहीं जाए ए जंबो देखिए इन्दु तो नाचुन दो शादां शेदां तो तुम उठ जाके आह अन्य जंसो दे चुप तो ते खाली दो जाके तो तुम उठ जाके खाली रोज चार ना लूं नागी चार रोज लूं ते के जंसो चुप ना अन्य जंसो दे बालो गांव जब विकास अन्य दोषाग शो ता ये तो हुआ तो सब भाइयों शेदांग शो अन्य सुसुग मागा रोता हूँ ता दिन के रे सामा जे सामा फातिस काने अन्य ता सुसु कासे को तेरे माइन बिगी चावत सो था जे तो उस पर काम अतिने चावे ना सुम सुसु जो संबंधी इस मार हेलो ना बचाए सारे इन तरह ता दोषाग के तो तुम ये म ये वाला ही है ना उस समय तेरे पे ते वो अरे जंबो अरे इस तेरे पे सारे जैसा दिन दिन जब सुबह शाने अरे ना सुबह जी काम दे अरे शाना ठीक है सारे अरे दस संजय थम्जे लगी जी जी सिद्धा दे चिया दे ना अरे सामने तांग हो रहा सामने तांग तो देखा ही है तांग बार बार तेरे सारे दिन दिन ना ता ना सो नंबर � since it was only one, he told us that he was a roommate j eigentlich show the laser message. He was very interested in doing this kind of thing. He was able to do the same kind of thing on the edge of his H미 Porria is not the same kind of thing. Even if he was about to do that kind of thing, he was able to do the same kind of thing. He was able to do the same kind of thing for the same kind of thing. He was able to do the same kind of thing. अने देर लगी कहाँ से नहीं पाम मायूं वाले थाईये दाम अने पहले दाम आते ना यहाँ कहाँ जे देला आ सुम्शो रहो तेरे चीज़ सर तीन दे ता धंगो दे ना से नंबर को लोला आ शियाँ हम्म ता शियाँ हम्म ना था वो लोग अंदे ये बात या निशित दे मुझे ता दे ये बात हाँ कोई समय ना अने शियाँ हम्म ना � ती इन्दु तना ता ती पामा दे ता तंदा खाये रोना ना गाजा ता ठेंडू को मेरे माता हूँ मैंने ती पामा दे खाये नहीं चाहिए ये बात तीन के ती इन्दु ता जो हमारे दे रहा है हम ठंगा मेरे तीन के हमारे चिपो लाना है दे ठंगा मेरे जैसा काजे मंगबो तोटन छटा मुंठा मंगबो तो ना सा ठंगा मेरे जैसा � अन देव छह में बाजी इधर अन सिंचिंग कंगा अन पामा माचे बाजी जो में सम ले सम गये इसे तेरे नागी समुदाने सिंचिंग तो संगराम को पाला था अमला ये ना यार नाराम को तंदा ठेंड तो कुम्भे वाला मोशी है मेरे समुदाने अन इन्जे चेवाई ना लंगाजी में इस ना लंगाजी बादे तो ना तं नाराम ला अन दुंगा दां 
那我们就把南京那申请空手了这个南京那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那
After the Melam, we also went on a pilgrimage to Buddha's main sacred sites. From the beginning of Buddha's birth site, around 563 BC, when Maya Devi, the queen of Kapilavastu, was on her way to her father's kingdom, she gave birth to a young prince in the forest of Lumini. This is the very foundation of Lumini where Buddha was born. It is believed that at Buddha's birth, he took seven steps, and from these steps, seven lotuses sprouted from the ground.
Lumbini is a very sacred place as till this very day, after 2500 years, Buddha's teachings are still relevant and it continues to live within our hearts and minds. Chitu Bogadanalayanishanajarakatayamjalamsayu Buddha meditated in Dungeshwari for six years without eating much and became a mere skeleton. After Siddhartha meditated for many years, Sujata, a young girl from Sinani village, came and offered him rice milk under the banyan tree. It is believed that before Siddhartha became the Buddha, Siddhartha was on his way to the city of Magadha. There a grass seller offered the yogi some kusha grass. In those days, kusha grass was considered auspicious. Therefore, Siddhartha saw a peepal tree nearby and sat under the tree with the kusha grass. Siddhartha said that until he got answers to all the suffering in this world, he would not move, even if his body decomposed. In those days, Mara, the demon king of the land, upon seeing Siddhartha meditate, tried to distract and disturb him. But Mara could not succeed. Eventually, Siddhartha became the Buddha. Buddha became the awakened one who serves benefits and helps all sentient beings from all sufferings with infinite wisdom and compassion. After Buddha attained enlightenment, he traveled to Sadhana Varnasi.
The last stupa at the backdrop is called Dhamik Stupa and it was built in 500 BC. This magnificent monument was built to commemorate Buddha's first teaching he gave to five disciples upon attaining enlightenment. This place is called the Deer Park in Sarnath. The Deer Park in Sarnath is the place where Buddhist Sangha first came into existence after Buddha's first teaching. The Dhammik Stupa is considered the holy object of the Buddha with immeasurable power. And even a small deed such as circling can purify a negative karma and earn good merits. This is the Vulture's Peak, which is located at the ancient city of Rajgir, India. After 16 years of his enlightenment, Buddha set forth the second turning of Dharma by assembling 5,000 monks, nuns, and bodhisattvas. In ancient times, at Vulture's Peak, it is believed that there was a monastery with many meditators. <laughs> This is the ancient ruins of Nalanda University. This university was established in 5th century AD. In those days, this institution was the largest Buddhist institution where students and scholars came from as far away as Tibet and China. It is from this Nalanda University that some students and scholars from Tibet attained the knowledge of Buddha Dharma. The first teacher from Nalanda came to Tibet in the 8th century named Santa Rakshita who later suggested Emperor Thison Dizeng of Tibet to invite Guru Padma Sambhava. In 1204, the last throne holder of Nalanda institution named Sakyashi Bhadra fled to Tibet at the invitation of Tibetan translator named Trabu Lozawa. <laughs> Kisari is a town in Bihar where Buddha once stayed and preached a group of sutras. Saravasti is located in the fertile Gangetic plains of Uttar Pradesh. This used to be the sixth largest city in ancient India.
This is the remains of the Buddha's main hut in Jitavana Monastery, Saravasti. This is the place where Buddha spent longest amount of time, about 25 years of his life. It is also the place where Buddha gave the largest amount of teachings and instructions. This is the Ananda Bodhi tree which was planted by Anantapindika, a chief disciple of Buddha. Vaishali is the place where Buddha preached his last sermon. Kushinagar is the place where Buddha passed away in 483 BC and attained his Parinirvana after his death. Parinirvana is something which occurs upon the death of someone who attains complete awakening. In Ramabhar Stupa at Kushinagar, Buddha was cremated on this side. It is said before Buddha passed away into Parinirvana, he called his disciples three times and said, Impermanence is inherent in all things. Work out your own salvation with diligence. Then Buddha passed away on a full moon night. The Mahapari Nirvana Temple was built by Indian government in 1956. This statue of dying Buddha reclining on the right side was unearthed during excavation of 1876 by a British archaeologist named Kala. The inscription dates the statue back to 5th century during Gupta kings. After a long journey for three weeks, we are finally heading back to Kathmandu, Nepal.
Like every Tibetan in exile all around the world, Amal Akpa prays in every pilgrimage to all the Buddhas and karmic forces to help and protect people all over the world. Yeah. 